Okay guys, here's the um, third installment of my video um, building an RC uh, lawnmower. I'm going to go through some of the electronics here that uh, I've been kind of reading up on and kind of put together here. And what you're seeing here, the, the wires here are actually from the um, wheelchair that the donor wheelchair that I kind of chopped up here but we'll kind of go through this um, what we've got here is a spectrum radio and I'm really not going to go through this there's several uh, videos and websites and different things you can actually go to spectrum um, there's the name of it right there uh, and read up on these radios this is the DX5E uh, which means it's a five channel um, you can get the radio at your ho local hobby shop. I got this one at my local hobby shop along with um, this receiver here. Um, the AR600 uh, for $99 which was a pretty good price for me. Might be expensive but it seemed like a pretty good price. Um, five channel uh, and it comes with uh, the setup books on how to set it up. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, the controller, speed controller that I got is actually Sabretooth 2x25. And I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough or not. They've got a, uh, a 2x50, but it controls two motors. And the hookup I've got here you're going to have to get some of these three pin uh, RC uh, pigtails. I've got two of them here and they come with a different kind of end on them here. I just cut them off and you'll have to put your power your red two power wires in and it, it shows you I don't know if you can see this or not but it kind of shows you the um, 5 volt S1, S2 and ground um, ground 5 volt S1 and S2 and then here it's got your um, battery plus battery minus and your plus and minus for your left and your plus and minus for your right motors and like I said these um, all, all this came from all these connectors uh, for the battery the battery connectors here and the um, the uh, circuit breaker and all came from the donor lawnmower. Now there is one thing with this controller that you might have an issue with that you may not have with other controllers. This is kind of a, a less expensive one. I think I paid. 126, 132 with shipping for this, but with some of these receivers, this this will power your receiver. But if it doesn't for signal reasons or amp reasons or whatever, because you can have too many amps that your receivers pulling, that this will not power your receiver properly, and then it'll reset and mess up your radio. But you can get into all that. Um, if you if you read up about that but you might have to get you a little extra battery pack here that um, you'll have to run your receiver off of but I didn't have to as of this point I don't believe everything seemed to work good um, as far as your radio and your receiver you'll have to pair those two up uh, which is easy it comes with the, the instructions to do that and also with your controller you'll get this pin set up these pins have to be set up um, it's you're gonna have to excuse this this video or this camera but th these pins have to be these switches actually have to be switched to the different setups that are on here for and I, I, I believe I use this one right here uh, radio controlled um, drive here 
um, and it seems to work pretty good but that is the setup I'm going to uh, hook it up now and I'll get right back to you and see if we can't make this thing run a little bit